Hi, this is Darren with strumpatterns.com, and today we're going to take a look at a few different free online metronomes that are available. Before we actually take a look at those metronomes, I want to talk about some of the other metronomes I looked at that didn't make the uh, review today. Some of these metronomes were uh, very much affected by your internet connectivity. Um, so they would speed up and slow down depending on lags in the internet. And uh, that is a very bad thing if you're looking for a metronome. It's the exact opposite of what a metronome is for. So anything I notice like that, that would immediately rule out those metronomes. And then also some of them had either poor sounds or just not very many features. So uh, the four today that we're going to take a look at, I found very useful and they looked nice and they had some great uh, feature sets to them. So that being said, take a look at the first one. This is from metronomeonline.com. Uh, it's just a very basic but very user-friendly, intuitive, and nice-looking uh, metronome. So to start with, you have the metronome. It starts from 40 beats per minute. goes all the way up to 208 beats per minute. And to uh, get it going, you just click on any of these on the side. and then you can click off to turn uh, the sounds on and off. Um, other than that, you have uh, a tuner here, A440. A lot of metronomes include that, so uh, that's something that you have here, so that if you needed to tune your instrument, you could do so. Also, they have uh, the tempo markings that you would see in a lot of music scores um, written around here. So sometimes a uh, music score will simply say Allegro, and they won't have a beats per minute given. So you could look here and see, ah, Allegro, that's uh, roughly between 120 and 168. So any of these tempos would fall into the Allegro category for you. Okay, other than that, this metronome also has just a few different ways of uh, displaying itself. You have the classic skin, the cool skin, which is what is done by default, and the fire. And that's pretty much it for this metronome. Uh, simple and sleek. Uh, they, this site also offers um, a few different articles here on how to use a metronome and tempo markings and that kind of thing. Uh, so you might check that out out of the pages we're going to review today. This is the only one that I've noticed that really has those kind of tutorials available for you. Okay, on to the next one, which this one is from www.all-guitar-chords.com forward slash metronome dot php. Uh, but don't worry, if you're viewing this on my website, uh, the links are all there. Um, or if you are watching this on YouTube, uh, the links will be there for the description Okay, now, um, this metronome here goes all the way from 40 beats per minute up to 250, so it goes a little bit faster than the previous one. Um, and then to do that, you just grab this and slide left and right, or you can click the arrows here if you want to do some fine-tuning. All right, so to uh, get to play, you just push right here. And that's what this metronome sounds like um, without any of the other features enabled. So this is a, a metronome without any accents to it. But if you click here, you can change it from having no uh, change in the pulse to an accent uh, based off of 4-4. Four four. So every first beat out of every four beats will have a different sound. So that's one, one, two, three, four, one two, and so on. Um, you can also do that for three, four, so that it'll be every uh, three beats, and then two, four, so it's every other beat. Another set of features this one has that I like is it allows you to choose nine different sounds. So if I didn't like that first sound, or if I didn't like the second sound, you can select whatever you like from the nine different sounds. Also, this gives you some sort of visual indication of uh, the tempo as well. Um, one note about this, though, is it's a little out of sync from the audio. So if you're doing this at the same time as the audio, I would uh, advise against uh, using the visuals. However, if you have the sound off and you just need something to go by visually, you can use that down here. However, uh, this next metronome we're going to look at uh, has a better visual feel to it, so if you needed something to look at, I would recommend using this one.
So let's go on. This is bestmetronome.com. Um, and this site actually offers three different metronomes for you to choose from. Um, one thing we're going to uh, look at these two over here on the left. We're not going to today look at what they call the advanced metronome. Um, the reason for that is it requires Java uh, for this to be fully uh, operational. So um, I don't have Java installed and some of the features weren't quite working properly for me. Um, so I wanted just a really basic metronome that most people would be able to use just by going to the website. So I didn't use this one. However, it does have basically an unlimited tempo. You can go all the way up to 6,000 beats per minute, um, as well as several other features, uh, different sounds and that kind of thing, um, multiple um, met, uh, measures and different things like that that you can use. So if you need something with more features, um, I would highly recommend giving this a look. However, let's go on. Uh, this is going to be the simple metronome, the one here in the middle. This is what it looks like. Um, you have the tempo marking over here. This is the current tempo. Right now it's set at 208. There are several different ways of changing the tempo on this one. Uh, first off, uh, I find very quickly is to just click on these numbers over here and that will change the tempo. You can also adjust it uh, for fine tuning by clicking the arrows up and down over here. Or you can just simply move the weight up and down. The top of the weight here is what uh, the tempo is at and if you look over here at the right while I move the weight you'll see that the tempo is moving along with it. So to get this thing started off you click this the very first time you'll hear a wind up and to stop it you click there once more. Um, and that's really the basics of this metronome. It's very uh, very simple but user friendly. Uh, you have the tempo markings over here on the side again uh, if you were just following the written uh, tempos and they didn't have a beats per minute given for you. Um, you also have a volume control over here which is nice. So if you wanted to change the the volume you could do that. You can also view this in full screen mode. So, like I said previously, if you were looking for a metronome that you could follow along visually, this would be the one that I would probably choose. Then hitting escape will take us out of full screen, or I could have clicked here again. And then on to the fourth and final metronome. This one is the highly accessible metronome, and this one is the least uh, attractive looking if you ask me but it's also the one of the most feature uh, rich ones that I've found. Um, to start off with again you have your shortcut tempos over here so you could just click on one of those to set the tempo and notice the tempo uh, is given right here and you can also uh, select that by clicking left and right on the arrows you can also simply type in uh, so say I want to type in 79 you can do that and then to start, clearly you just click right here where it says start. And stop. You click the same square. Uh, one of my favorite features on this metronome is it has a tap tempo. So once you click here, you can hit space or enter on your uh, keyboard. and that will give you a, a whatever rhythm or speed you tap the the spacebar at it will give you your uh, basic pulse um, this one right here is the last uh, set that I did or they will take the average of the five um, here so you can also if you're uh, wanting something more accurate you could click the spacebar 20 times and it'll give you the average of those 20 here so uh, this one is 93 and as you see it changed it for me up there also you have your tempo markings over here with the actual tempo markings the kind of English translation and then the tempo range that you would need um, written out for you here. Also, you have a whole bunch of keyboard shortcut options here for you, and I really dig that. Um, I like to use the keyboard quite a bit when I'm browsing. Um, so you can use the S key to start and stop. You also have the tempo up, which is D, and then tempo down, which is a C. Um, and then you also can do it in uh, groups of 10, which is the F and the V, up by 10s, down by 10s, 
and then you also have cycles um, based on the number. So the two here is based off of 20. So if I hit a two, it's going to start off at tempo, uh, 20 beats per minute. Then if I hit it again, it's 120. Then if I hit it again, it's 220 and 320. So if you check out right here, I'm just going to hit the two key. There's 20. I'm going to hit it again. There's 120. 220, 320, and that's simply just by hitting the th uh, the two key. If I did zeros, it would be doing uh, you know from 10, I mean zero to 100 to 200 to 300 and so on. So if you wanted to go from 90 to 190, that's a you know you could hit the nine key. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up this review for free online metronomes, and stay tuned for our next video for tips and tricks and some useful sites and tools for practicing with a metronome, as well as uh, improving your timing. So visit strumpatterns.com for more free videos and tutorials on strumming and rhythm guitar, as well as how to hear and read rhythms. That's pretty much it, and thanks for watching.